Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, that's it. That's the money shot. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are turning lemons into oranges. Pretty cool, right? No, but actually, we're gonna be messing around with some lemons, oranges, um, and I'm not gonna be dropping them into water. Enough people have already done that, including myself, but we're gonna be messing around with some floating photography. Um, so that's the theme for today. And let's get into the kitchen to get that started. So this one's gonna be uh, a little different. Um, we have a lot of fruit here, lemons and oranges. And I have this bowl of fruit and I pretty much wanna also levitate fruit over it. So I had to figure that out. So give me a second while I set that up. Okay, we finally got our setup going. Took me a while, but let me show you. We have our bowl of fruit that we already had. Hanging fruit from floss, and then this setup right here. And if you remember, that's the same setup from last week's episode, so go check that out. Um, it was a really fun one. We got some cool pictures out of it, um, me falling. Uh, go check it out. And then last but not least, we got a red aperture light that I'm gonna put right behind the green bowl to give it some contrast and some fill light in the back. So I think I'm gonna go for multiple pictures on this one to get different variations on the hanging fruit. These should come out cool, um, let's see. Okay, for these pictures, I'm gonna put my hands out here um, just so there's more filling in the empty space and giving it a better effect. I mean, they're already coming out pretty good. It's a pretty simple shot. Just gotta get more variations of the fruit. I have more options later in Photoshop. Okay, I'm gonna move this back a little bit now so I can get more depth in the fruit. Then I have a little bit more to play around with. All right, I think that's good enough in the variances of fruits. Uh, that's it for this one. Okay, we have setup number two underway, and this one is even simpler than the last one. It's just a peeled orange um, that's gonna be floating in between, once again, my hands. Uh, a simple shot, so hopefully it only takes a few attempts. Let's go. Okay, I was too lazy to take that fruit off. Uh, I'll take it off later. Not right now. Right now, I'm in work mode. Gonna do this. Bada bing, bada boom. One shot and done. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. We're good. One shot and done. <laughs> Wait till you check out this third setup right here. Ready? Look at this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's actually coffee in it. There's coffee in there. Thankfully, I didn't spill any on my feet. I'm not wearing any shoes right now. And that's really, really hot. I just made it. So the idea is gonna be to catch this in midair. And it's like, you know, still kind of floating. Um, and that's the shot. All right, let's go for another one and done. Let's see if we could do it. One right around there. That might have been, my hand might have been too close. That is no good. I think I want to be closer. Here we go. Ah. It was close, but the coffee wasn't facing, you couldn't see the coffee, it wasn't facing the, the lens. Stay right there. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, that's it. That's the money shot. Let's go. Okay, got everything all cleaned up finally. This fruit will be eaten later, ate later, eaten, eaten? We'll eat it later, it won't go to waste. Let's go check out some photos. Okay, these photos came out pretty cool. This first one, the original photo had four fruits in it, um, just hanging down. And I'm really happy that I took a lot more photos than just one with fruits behind and in front of the bowl to give me more to play with in Photoshop and get this really cool photo. All these extra fruits helped me fill up that negative space in the back. And then that light was was just awesome. It just gave it a nice glow in the back. And I'm really happy that I added that light back there. This second photo, I really liked how simple it was. It was just one mandarin orange floating there between my hands and then just, just the peels at the bottom. I'm okay with all the negative space in this one just because like 
just focus in on that little orange floating there in the middle. And then the fruit in the back, obviously, to complement that, that orange, give it some more color. This last final and third photo was pretty difficult to get on there because for whatever reason, I, you know, my smart self decided to fill up the coffee cup first and then try and hang it up. I should have just hung up the cup and then filled it with whatever coffee would fit in there. But no, I decided to go the other way around and I had to be very careful not to spill the hot coffee on my feet, as you saw. Um, but the photo came out great. It came out great. It came out like I wanted it to. A floating, almost falling coffee cup that I'm catching in midair. And really awesome, really cool photo. Yeah, this photo shoot was easy in the kitchen. Anybody could do it. Everybody has most of these things or some fruits or a coffee cup or something like that. You guys go ahead and do it. Um, it was really fun. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas as always down in the comments. Thank you for watching and please consider liking and subscribing. Catch you guys next time.